video you guys it's vlogmas day seven i just officially did a week of vlogmas what before we get this video you guys make sure you like this video make sure you comment down below make sure you subscribe to your girl's channel get me to 1k are right, you guys i was eating so if you guys see that i was eating but get me to 1k get me to 1k because i know we can do it and I have faith in you guys that you guys can get me to 1K. So today, this video, I will be installing my wig. Look at that. My wig that I've already worn. Um, now, it's some steps that I have to I take that maybe y'all wouldn't take, you know what I'm saying? But this is what I do. So, let's get into this video. So the first thing first, I'm gonna wet my hair and brush my hair back. And now I'm gonna take my comb and just now this part right here. After I brush my hair back, I would usually put a cap on, but I don't have any cap, so I'm gonna do it today without a cap. So now that I have everything back the way that I want it, I'm going to take alcohol wipe and clean all this off so it can be, you know, no dirt, no excess, no anything. I got my alcohol right here, it's 99% alcohol, and then I have my cotton swab. So I'm going to take that and just clean it off. I'm going to plug in my flat iron. So I have my wig, you can see, I have my wig, and I'm going to literally flat iron, well hot comb, hot comb the, uh, this back so it's flat, you know what I mean? So I put it on and boom, I don't have to worry about doing that. Plus it also gets the baby hairs out the way so I do not do them. So I'm just going to take it and flat iron it back, well hot comb it back I guess you want to say. But as you can see, it's making it way flatter. Now that I have it the way that I like it, come back. Well, hot comb back. I'm going to take my pins off. Okay. So now I can move this off the way because I'm done with that. And then, okay, you guys, so I'm going to use my camera and talk to you guys. I'm going to use this to pretty much show you guys how this is going to be my mirror, what I'm trying to say. So. I have the backs right here and I'm going to put clip these in. This just helps secure the wig even more, make it tighter around your head. So I have my clips on and then I'm going to just like that, right? And now what I'm gonna do is I since I've already used this wig. Um, like this is not new, like you know what I mean. I'm going to y'all see that it's going to be blending so nice. Um, I'm going to literally take. I'm going to literally shift my wig right back to where I had it, so it lays the way it's supposed to. So 
So that's exactly what I like. This is how. This is how I like it. Yeah, this is how I like it. This is how it's supposed to be. Let me show you guys real quick. Y'all see that? That's how it's supposed to be laying. So now that I have it where I laid at, where, where it's, now that I have it where it used to lay, I'm going to just brush, comb everything back. At least try to comb everything back, right? And now I got this off of I Am A Slay Your Bay. And what she did was, where I put my glue? That's my lace gummy, gummy lace glue. See that? Love this stuff. I'm running out, I need to get some more. She did what she pretty much traced her line. So, she traced it where it was gonna go. You know what I'm saying? So right here, as y'all can see, I'm gonna just trace it. As y'all see, I moved it a little bit up on my forehead, not too much, but just enough because I have these little, you know, in my hairline pretty much. And you see, boom, now I'm gonna take this off because I don't, I don't need that yet. And I'm just going to just go in with my glue and just fill that in. Now I'm going to do light, you know what I mean? Just light. Now that I have that like that, I'm going to go in with my, I have a little wrapped up foam that I got from a dollar store. Why do I have that hair? I'm just going to take it and smooth it out. Because you don't want the glue to be just sitting there like how you have it. Because one, it's never going to dry right. Two, it's going to be a mess. You want to see it through your lace because it's just bulging. You know what I mean? If you can't, if you, also you guys, I know you guys see that I'm getting on, on my hair now. If you have a cap, you won't have to worry about this at all. But I have her gummy lace remover. That's what I used to take the glue out of my laces and off my forehead. And it literally just turns this glue gummy like so it's easy to peel off um it does not take my edges out you guys i do not i did not lose any of my edges since i've been wearing wigs i've been wearing wigs for a year straight now um so yeah i know a little something something just a little i'm just gonna smooth that out as you guys can see it's already drying so move fast but you don't gotta move that fast. So as you can see, you can see some of it's already starting to dry. So with this glue, y'all, you do not want to uh, put a blow dry to it. You want to air dry it. So you want to let it air dry by itself. But you don't want it to, I'm sorry, but you don't want it to fully dry because then that defeats the person of being sticky. You see what I mean? Like, that's sticky. So, all right, I'm going to put this out because I don't want it to dry too much. So, we're just going to do the same thing that we did last time when we put our wig on the first time. We're going to... Be careful, you don't want to put the lace on the glue before you're ready to put it on there. So move your wig back a little bit. You see what I mean? Move that wig back. Make sure you have it lined up the way that you want it before you start laying it down. So I have it the way that I want it. Let me get close for you guys so you can see and I can see. Now you want to... 
you want to literally go to where your glue's at. You do not want to have extra glue. I mean, you can get it off, but it's a pain in the ass, I'll tell you that. So, always go to where your glue stops is where your lace should, like, literally start at. You know what I mean? And trust me, when you have it on there, you're going to feel it holding. Because I sure do. Um, yeah. So, I'm just going to lay this. Now that I have that, I want to go in with a comb and just comb it back, but also push it in at the same time. So this pretty much is getting the lace to stick, to really stick to the glue, you know what I mean? Like to really hold on to it. So that's what I'm gonna do, that's what I mean. So as you see, I'm pushing the combing back. Pushing the comb back. Pushing back <laughs> now if you have extra lace like this that's fine you can always go back in with some glue change y'all I was hot as hell in that teddy bear onesie now that I have my middle part see my middle part it's forming it's forming I'm going to plug my flat iron I say flat iron I'm putting my hot comb back in hot comb on I'll take my little elastic band and I'm just going to tie that down this is so when I style it straighten it whatever to it the lace doesn't go anywhere also this is another way to melt your lace and then what you want to do is position your elastic band because it will move from you like you know playing with it or like tying it Okay, so I see how that's the band is on there. And last bit. I'm just going to take it like this, as you guys can see. I'm combing through, but I'm really putting the end part because that's what's really getting straight. The comb is just to make sure that you really get through all the hairs. So let me move closer. See what I mean? I'm pushing it down. And then I'm gonna show y'all the difference in a second. Be careful, cause this shit is hot. Now look at the difference. This side compared to that side.
Another thing to keep it like really flat and not have flyaways, like I realized realizing see, is to get a wax stick. I have yet to get a wax stick, you guys. I've been trying to get a wax stick. Every time I get a, think about getting a wax stick, I forget. So yeah. Now just look how flat that is. Um, and now I'm just gonna go through my hair. Okay, I'm back. I got my uh, flat iron. I turned it on. I'm gonna turn it all the way up. Let's see that. Two, four, four thirty. I'm gonna take a comb right behind it just to make it flat, more straighter. As you guys can see, how I'm gonna show you guys. Just taking a comb right behind it. So I got it nice and flat. Look at that. Stick weird. Stick weird. <laughs> Alright you guys, so after I do that, I'm going to take this band off. And boom, voila! Okay, so you guys, this is what my hair looks like. Hold on, let me come up closer. Boom. Look at that. I'm eventually going to do baby hairs. I'm not doing baby hair right now. I'm not going nowhere. Um, and I really don't feel like it. At least not right now. So let me just do back y'all up and do a nice little spin turn for you guys. Alright, okay, so this is what the front looks like. Okay, you guys, so that's the end of this video. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you comment down below. Make sure you subscribe to your girl's channel. Subscribe to my channel on the road to 1K. 1K, 1K, 1K. On the road to 1K. Get your girl to 1K. This is the end of Vlogmas Day 7, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Oh, before I close out, I wanted to say if you guys did not enter in the 600 giveaway, make sure you guys enter in the 600 giveaway. I'm giving $100 away. Make sure you check everything out in the description. Everything will be in the description. Make sure you check out in the description. Um, enter in the giveaway. And I'll, now, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.